if everything is predetermined, including pain and suffering and pleasure and happiness, does it make any difference if you are initiated and a meditator? Do you have the same experiences according to predestined destiny? Or does it make a difference? The destiny operates on the basis of our attention being totally captured, where we are playing out our destiny. Right now we are playing out our destiny in a physical play. If you are only in physical consciousness, using the physical aspect of mind, destiny plays full part. And these distractions are at height. But if you are at a different level and regularly visit the next higher level, which makes this a reflection of that, destiny here plays the same part what can be seen by people, but your attitude changes and you know the reality so they don't affect you so much. If you are in the causal region, destiny still plays its part. Everybody says you are going through the same thing, except that the Five children seem to be less dominant. But if you cross the mind and live in a state of love as a soul and with awareness that that is what the truth is, the five children seem to disappear and they don't affect you at all. If you want to see a perfect living master, in addition to the fact he never claims to be a master, in addition to his humility in that way, in addition to the fact he never charges for anything and works for his own living, you will find that these five distractions are missing in him. That's a very big thing. We are all subject to it. And we can't know this just by a casual meeting with a man like that. You have to know, meet him regularly, know him, and spend time with him. And you find, why does he not get angry? Why is he not lustful? Why is he not greedy? Why is he not doing this thing? Why is he trying to hide his eye at all? What's gone wrong? No, it's gone right. And all of us can have that with an experience of just having one visit beyond the mind. It's a very big thing. So that is why when the whole system here is divided, into negative and positive, the negative energy that is created only in an area where time exists. If time is not there, none of these exist. They are all expressions, expressions of the mind, which only operates in time and space. So that is why it's very important to know that it is only when you are beyond the mind that your true spiritual self is revealed to you.